Uh, hi, um, I'm going through the Magnus Carlsen versus Rodriguez Andres in the four round robin knockout in Brazil. The world champion continues and uh, destroying the competition in the rabbit event in Brazil. First, he won a four player knockout event where he considered one draw. Uh, but he is qualified for the final. He was in trouble in one game, but at the end of the day, he took the tournament. Uh, the opening started and he's on five out of five uh, with uh, two more players with the same five out of five score. Um, uh, we'll, have a we'll keep up to date with uh, round six. I've included uh, reference games in the, in the description um, and you can check out more videos on uh, chess game puzzles.com website. Okay, let's have a look at this game. Uh, Magnus was playing white. The game starts knight f3. Black plays f5. Carlson goes for d3. Um, uh, it's an unusual king Indian attack. Um, ECO A04. Um, but Douglas plays knight f6. Carlson goes for e4. Um, Rodriguez plays d6 on move 3. Um, interestingly, uh, the play could have gone. Pawn takes, uh, d takes e4, knight takes e4, uh, bishop d3, knight f6. White is compensation in development uh, and is ready to castle. And white has only developed a knight. And uh, uh, so let's see after castle. Uh, white is way ahead in development and uh, that's enough compensation for the lost one so Rodriguez plays safe with d6 goes for development Carlson takes the bone on e4 uh, he takes with the bishop plays d4 um, holding back the e5 expansion uh, Rodriguez plays queen d7 uh, in the database, uh, a game which was played in 2011, uh, Pantelic versus Bulvik in Belgrade. 2012, uh, the game continued d5, bishop e2, knight c6, bishop f4, e6, knight e5, knight takes, four takes, knight e4, f3, knight c5. Uh, white color bishop e7. Uh, this game end, ended in a draw. Um, I've included this uh, reference game so you can have a, uh, have a look at this. Uh, but that is if uh, white play uh, black plays d5, uh, but Rodriguez plays queen d7. Carlson played knight c3, uh, Rodriguez played g6. Uh, there's another game uh, from Montreal 2008. White was uh, Rusmon versus Hikari Nakamura. And the game, instead of g6, uh, Nakamura played e6. Bishop d3, uh, Bishop takes, Queen takes, knight c6. A3, D5, Bishop F4, Bishop D6, G3. Nakamura went on to win this game in 31 moves. Um, as I said before, the reference is in the description, so you can have a look at this game as well. Uh, but Rodriguez played G6 in this position. And play continued. Bishop D3 by Carlsen. Bishop G7. Um, black is a cramped position. The knight on b8 has to come out. 
when the pawn on uh, e7 um, he has to find a way of opening up of of uh, of, of moving the pawn so that he doesn't have uh, a break on pawn uh, Carlson played the novelty uh, castling on move uh, 8 uh, another reference game is in 2008 uh, Gomez versus Mame Jarova um, the game continued bishop takes queen takes queen e2 knight c6 bishop g5 black castle root kingside and white castle kingside um, in this game um, Blake Blake won the game in uh, 32 moves. Um, uh, so it's an interesting look at uh, see what improvements uh, White could have come up with. So Carson is improvement instead of taking the bishop on f5, he castled kingside and. Uh, Rodriguez played knight c6, Carson played d5, uh, <coughs> making sure that e7 pawn is, uh, is, is a different back, uh, backward pawn. Uh, he played knight uh, b4, Carson took on, on b5. Uh, Rodriguez played g takes f5. Better would have been queen f5, uh, uh, one line would go like knight d4, and you can play queen h5, with a slight advantage to to white, uh, because uh, the knight on b2, if he can exchange the queens, take off the, the knight on d4, there'll be pressure on c2. This would have been better, but you went for opening up the g line. They played queen, they played g takes f5, also played a3, knight a6, knight d4, knight c5, b4. Um, and in this position, there was a, 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 a uh, Russian call it the pre yomi. Um, this uh, it go, goes like when. Um, White plays d f b4. Uh, you should always look at lines where black should play e5. So in this position, he played knight c e4. But if it's if he played the pre yomi, he should have played e5. Uh, d takes e, knight takes e, knight takes f5, uh, then castle. This is like this is better for for white, but he eliminates the backward um, pawn on e seven, and he's got more lines on the g eight, e eight, f eight, and that'll be uh, I think sufficient compensation for the lost pawn. Uh, but he went for knight e4. Uh, but now that make, but now the pawn on e7 is stuck, and then uh, there's a hole on e6 which White can now exploit. Castle went for knight takes. Uh, he took with the. With the pawn, uh, one line is if knight takes <coughs> uh, uh, It's bad because of uh, uh, like like queen h uh, queen h five check, so that's not really good. Uh, or you can even play uh, knight e six. If bishop takes h1, there is a uh, queen h5 mate, so that's not a good move. <coughs> uh,
Okay, so the game continued. Um, Pawn takes and you play knight e6. Uh, one option is um, yeah, and then I'll do space to rook g8. Um, one alternative was king f7, then c4, c6, f3, opening up the, the f line. So that's very good anyway. So the Duke played rook g8. And the game, custom played bishop b2, tight undermine the, the, the knight on c, on e6 with uh, c6. E, c4, uh, Open up the rook and get by playing bishop and hate. I can also play rook e1. And then the pawn on e4 is weak. Um, so to the state, rook g6. Um, one option could have been um, pawn takes, pawn takes, knight takes, d5, rook takes e4, um, bishop takes b2, queen h5, check, uh, rook g6, queen h7, knight f4, knight takes f4, rook g7, queen h8, King F7, Queen H5, Queen G8. Uh, uh, after all this, you can, uh, White is still winning because there's an extra pawn and the uh, rooks are coming in. Like Rook E1 and then Knight G6 with so much pressure uh, on uh, on Black's position. So he played with g6, Carson played bishop takes, f6, he took with the pawn, queen h5, uh, played queen f7, uh, on our return well, would have been f5, but still he just takes, uh, he takes the pawn, so that's losing anyway. So Carson played queen f8, f5. Um, then he played rook g, time to put pressure on f2, cousin played g6, g3. He could have played even uh, pawn takes, if rook takes, king g1. Uh, the whole black position is passed because it's all open anyway. So after g3, king f7, rook e4, he resigned. Uh, so um, he won the the knockout. So what we are going to look at next is uh, how he's he's going to do in the open tournament. But he's on five out of five. Um, I hope he enjoys this. Thank you.